Hey guys, what's up? Moxie1701 coming at you with a review of something pretty special today. Now you're looking at this box and saying, oh wow, I got another another NES Classic Edition. Yeah, not quite. The box looks apart, but there's some differences here. It says Entertainment System and NES, everything like that. But you notice over here, Nintendo is missing. There's no Nintendo. This is slightly different. There's no gray lines here. Here it says Entertainment System, not Nintendo Entertainment System. And 500 classic games included. Yeah, 500. More or less, because some of them are basically copies of others. <clears throat> and there's Donkey Kong, which is not on the NES Classic. <laughs> and it's English and, Jap and uh, Spanish. And over here it's English and French. <laughs> it's a Shinzin copy of the NES edition. Basically what's in here is a plug-and-play system with 500 games. Basically the same thing as you would have gotten a few years ago, those little plug-and-play cheap things that you could buy in the flea market for 20 bucks. I paid about 50 for this. Now there's some good things and some bad things with this. The good thing is that it comes with two controllers and the controllers use exactly the same plugs as the real NES Classic Edition, so that's good. And it does have 500 games, some games which are not included on the, on the real classic. And it's cool, and it's cheaper, and it's available. <laughs> Try finding the real NES Classic Edition, <laughs> good luck with that. Try finding it for 50 bucks, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> and this is what the system looks like. Now you see, it looks exactly the same as the real one, except the light here is white. And yeah, there is no Nintendo written over here. And the controller just fell on the floor. Hold on a second. <laughs> the controller, you see, it's not quite like the original. There's some cosmetic differences. Nintendo's not there. There's some lines that are not there. And uh, <laughs> on the back over here, there is a very, very conspicuous lack of a Nintendo seal of quality. And you plug it in, and you see this. It's exactly what I told you it is. It's a 501 system on a chip, plug and play uh, Nintendo. Yeah. The same stuff you used to get for like 20 bucks back a few years ago. They basically put it in a little box like this, which is cool. I like it. I mean, you got some nice games on here. You got Adventure Island, Ninja Turtles, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 3, Robocop. Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Bomberman, you know, I got some good games in here. Some are copies of other, some are duplicates, I mean, and uh, some are just garbage. <laughs> but uh, a lot of these games are actually pretty cool. Here, I'll show you uh, Donkey Kong. Here we go. Let me just turn on the sound of my TV. If I can find the controller. Here we go. And now, it's Donkey Kong. Let me just turn this light off. There we go. It's Donkey Kong. And that is one game which, unfortunately, is not included on the real NES Classic for whatever reason. Actually, I don't think it is. I don't remember seeing it. So, <laughs> I have it here. That's a good thing. And as you can see, the graphics are pretty good. These are good copies. Actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah, of course, that's you for Chinese or English. So I'm going to choose English. This is a good value. If you see this at the flea market for about 40, 50 bucks, pick it up. It's worth it. I mean, it's not the NES Classic. Don't expect it to be. It's basically a cheap Shenzhen Market plug and play Nintendo clone. In here, Basically, it's a system on a chip. That's all it is. But it's really cool. If you don't want to go out and uh, sp uh, spend hundreds of dollars on a real NES Classic and spend hundreds of hours trying to find one, pick this little guy up. It's cool, it's cheap, and for what it is, it works very well. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.